Hey, this is uh, Elliot Wave Sage. I want to go ahead and do a market update. And like always, none of this is financial advice. Always do what's best for you. Just use this for your education and entertainment purposes only. Uh, so the market uh, is acting very erratically. Uh, it's trying to um, basically uh, shake out all the weak hands that are bearish. Uh, they're try It's trying to get, you know, if you're a bear, trying to get you to fold your position so that um you know you don't get paid and this market right now is just um you know really uh um listless it doesn't have much direction until we get some news uh, but the direction will be lower uh, i know today was hard on people if you uh day trade uh, or trade you know the 15 minute charts the five minute time frame which is why I don't recommend trading those time frames. If you trade the higher time frame, uh, nothing has changed. The plan is still in place. Uh, you, you, you know, if you were a day trader, uh, you probably, um, you know, got destroyed at some point unless you were lucky uh, and fortunate. So as you can see here, we're still in this two wave. I mentioned with that pump at the end of the day, we could see that gap fill. Uh, we, um, may still see that happen tomorrow, uh, but I don't, it's not guaranteed. It could be over. Uh, we did truncate a little bit from the next uh, sell area. Uh, so this uh, could be finished here. Uh, we, we don't know yet, but it wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit higher in this bigger three swing move up. Uh, then the uh, Dow Jones uh, also did another swing higher it almost got to the sell area, the, the secondary sell area. It missed. Could it make it uh, tomorrow? Uh, it is possible, but unlikely. Uh, and then the triple Qs uh, hit the sell area. Uh, so we had one here and we had one here. So this was a great opportunity to go short again and add and layer in more um, bearish positions. Uh, that's what we're building for. We have the eye on the prize. The prize is this is our prize. This is just noise and day traders blowing each other up. So we take advantage of those days on three wave moves and you go and you get your your position. Uh, I know some people are afraid it's just going to do that. Well, that's OK, too. Uh, then we'll just turn into a triple off this uh, level as long as uh, 388 holds but I don't think that will happen. IWM was very weak. Weak bounce, this too could be done. We're ready to see a massive sell-off here. And um, the future's interesting. Uh, the Dow futures hit the, um, the trend line and it got rejected uh, pretty quickly, uh, as you can see here. And again, it's uh, back into the sell area as well. Uh, so again, a, a full round trip here, basically. Uh, if we do take this peak out, uh, then that opens up a, a lot more options on the bullish side, uh, but we'll, but it's got some work to do. Uh, ES never uh, took this peak out, so this is still valid here. The NQs did, uh, so the NQ, I'm going with uh, the WX, YXZ uh, correction, and you could see there's no divergence here on the daily uh, indicating it's not um, an impulsive move and clearly you have overlapping waves although you could still get uh, five swings off the lows but I don't like that uh, uh, at the moment uh, especially here is really three right there uh, and um, and here's your connector for your, your three so it's really three swings if you look close enough uh, in here and um, at these peaks, you don't really ever see, um, you know. So I think this is uh, the count I'm going with with the Nasdaq, which is why it's got it's going to fool a lot of traders because most people don't factor in a triple uh, in their trading methodology. But that's what I think is happening, uh, where we could even see a little more upside tomorrow. So then um, that's that's where we are. So I don't. I think if you're a day trader. You're just like flipping the coin of where we're going to head. But ultimately, the prize is here, uh, you know, later, later on in September or October. So this is just uh, just noise that can get you to fold 
uh, or B, uh, taking losses. So you got to really know what you're doing and have a strategy to make it through this this choppiness. But it is giving you a lot of good opportunity for position. Uh, Bitcoin did dump today, starting its journey lower. Uh, so that's a warning sign to the market. The Hang Seng really was weak to um, uh, last uh, late last night uh, here and we are heading to this 15.7 and if we do break 14.5 that really uh, opens you up to some of these unthinkable targets which which more than likely would coincide with a, a, a major market wide meltdown so th this really has to hold I think it's going to be retested very soon uh, the Russell 2 is in not looking good uh, the financials aren't looking good, and if the Russell were to break the 16, that will open us up to 1,200. There's no way the Russell is going to trade down here, and the SPY is going to trade up here. You're living in a fantasy world if you believe that's going to happen, uh, and and you're gonna you're gonna be very uh, sad. So the Russell, the Hang Seng, the dollar index is telling you financials that very dark days are ahead for this market, despite, you know, this type of um, price action we saw today. Um, oil should continue higher, although this fifth wave uh, could be finished soon. So we could see another pullback and for some sideways consolidation. Uh, gold and silver should be pulling back soon. Again, uh, we're seeing the strength build again in rates. I continue to think rates should go higher. Uh, you know, in the 10 year uh, higher and the, the um, dollar index uh, is it looks like it's breaking out of this wedge here and that should continue the breakout and that's what supported the markets today. But it's in a it's in a buy area. The VIX, um, you know, tried to melt down, uh, but it was it had some. So the VIX um, tried to stay supported and then it, um, you know, it, it was, I'm sorry, it tried to melt down, but it was supported. I still think it's coming to much higher levels soon. Uh, and this is uh, the, the setup. So just a couple individual stocks, uh, commodities. Not, I don't want to talk about those. Uh, let's talk about the bond market um, real quick. So this opportunity, um, first I'll say commodities, there was an opportunity in the GDXD today, which I took. That was my only uh, real trade except for shorting tech at the end of the day and literally nailed it to the penny. I mean, like to the penny. And so essentially risk free before, you know, you know, instantly. So this was good. I think this is going to break out and go higher. Uh, as the dollar goes higher, this is a way to sh uh, be long dollar and get some upside. Uh, again, you can't rule out another dip down to 584, but I did like this setup today. Uh, now, the bond market, there's one I, I've got my eye on, and I think it's worth keeping your eye on too. Uh, if I can find it here, in my ETFs, um, TMF. TMF is a triple bull leveraged uh, to 20 year treasury um, and it is slowly but surely getting to the buy area I've probably had here, you know, for since really September. I mean, a long time uh, looking for 522 or lower. Uh, so then you could get this could be a really good trade. I think it's just a trade. I don't think this is like some major low or the TLT as well at uh, 88. We've had this highlighted for um, over a year now as the target. We're almost there. So yes, this will be a good opportunity to play that bounce. And I believe we'll get a bounce in bonds here once this uh, these targets are hit. Uh, and uh, that, that would be nice, but I believe that bounce will eventually fail given the five swing nature of this move. Now that it's five swings, this should fail and do another, another leg lower, which I know is unthinkable for, the, for you and a lot of denial would say that can't happen, but that's what Elliott Wave says will happen with the five wave sequence. So the balance is tradable, but not investable, in my opinion, in bond market, but it's coming. And then um, let's see um, go, what else was going on SQQ today. Uh, definitely hit a, a buy area. 
again to the penny and, st and then really started to bounce right when we you know hit this area uh, in this uh, three wave move and so it just took a deeper correction I do think you know we at least definitely get another swing out of here uh, so then looking at technology uh, you know Apple still pretty weak uh, you know Apple really needs to take out this 180 level and if it could do that it can make another swing higher uh, and then uh, let's take a look at uh, Tesla everyone's freaking out about Tesla so to me uh, Tesla's a couple options it could either be a bigger WXY uh, if we can erase that uh, divergence I hadn't looked at it in a while and it looks like we did so that's that's the count so we did a race divergence and we almost hit the target so it just um, Tesla is tricky because it double corrected as you know we had this here and the bear case was it was finished in a one two one two and it could drop but the market decided to make another swing higher and uh, in three waves and, uh, and it destroyed the bears that are trying to day trade Tesla and this is an example why I don't prefer the, to do trading um, these these popular stocks just to trade just for trading sake because this is just so much um, there's so many possibilities but again the bigger picture the eye on the prize is we are going to be down here guys I know again but how we get there is going to blow up a lot of traders but if you if you manage your money right you know how to do it you're patient you ladder in you'll you'll be a winner but if you're just like you know me not you know doing this uh correctly or if you're just like going into day trade tesla every day i mean you're just this could have easily gone the other way it didn't have to do this so um just know that trading uh in the middle area this middle area i call it here's the and here's your connector and there's really a connector within a connector is always set you up for um potential uh catastrophe if you're a day trader uh unless you get lucky uh, but if you're a long term, if you're playing the swing long term, this should this should uh, finish up and we should go lower. And uh, and again, the eye on the prize. This is just this is just noise to me. So I really care what Tesla did today. I, I wasn't it was not it wasn't relevant to me. I don't care about it. I just kind of click through all these other charts and all I'm seeing is just in a connector wave that's continuing to push higher that eventually will fail. Uh, NVIDIA was also weak today and again for those of you buying NVIDIA think of this is a good investment you just need to understand the risk you're taking uh, and this could be uh, looking at it here uh, we could still be in this two wave I wouldn't be surprised to see that pop up to 463 and then down uh, the alternative is this is some kind of tight one two here uh, or one two one two but I think I would rather looking at it to me um, I'd rather call this uh, here and then call this a one uh, um, still have this in two with more upside coming I think that's probably what's gonna happen uh, here but it's tough to say but I do think we are making our way down um, Microsoft's almost at our short area here so like I said, nothing, nothing in in these uh, stocks tells me I want to FOMO in. I want to buy and go long and and you know load up, load the boat. Um, so that's that's what I'm seeing in the market, guys. I think uh, the market is set up for a massive uh, drop soon. I think it, the CPI seems to me too obvious of a catalyst. Uh, my guess is it won't be the CPI report. That causes it I believe it will be something else after CPI that will cause it uh, and uh, you know if, if the CPI is what causes this massive drop then that means it must be coming in way hotter than anyone ever could uh, contemplate so hot that it would make the Fed raise rates in September that would probably be the only way to get the market to drop now because everyone's expecting it so uh, anyway so I think this is the setup right now and I still would be bearish till proven otherwise. Uh, nothing really changed today, other than just um, you know more out great uh, entries uh, and uh, to get uh, ladder in uh, short positions, like I was showing you on the GD 
you know, GDXD was a really good uh, opportunity and the SQQQ at the very end of the day was another great opportunity uh, if you believe in the bear case. Uh, but the bears are going to have to stand up. They always seem to um, fail when they have the setup. They have the setup. Can they uh, get, get, you know, succeed this time or are they going to fail again? And if they fail, yes, this will continue to melt up higher and eventually the, you know, the, the crash will be even worse. Uh, but right now it's not, I don't see any reason to change the forecast that I have uh, been presenting. So that's all I've got today, guys, and good luck training.